Hi, welcome to Milton Daily Homes, uh, the best home show in Milton, and I can say that because we're the only home show in Milton, but anyhow, the uh, we have eight listings today. The first one up is 918 Deverell, 289.5. It's, uh, it's not a very good angle here. It is a three-story townhome. Um, it's called the Spring Valley, about 1350 square feet. Nice kitchen here, lots of space. You've got the breakfast bar, uh, lights over top of the bar, and that's a great shot of how the kitchen opens up to the family and also the dining room. You can see there's a door that leads out to the deck here. Okay, that's the main floor. There is a little seating area on the first floor when you walk in, which you don't see in a lot of these places. Okay, then we're back up to the second floor on these two shots. Uh, there's a shot of the family room. This is a three bedroom, so they chopped it up. There's a two and a three bedroom version. The, uh, the three obviously get smaller rooms. And there's the balcony. So no backyard, just the front yard. Uh, you know, there was one listed a couple days ago for 284. Um, it's in the ballpark. You know, the, I think that there was some that sold close to 300 that were similar size. So it's all good. Uh, 1277 Le Mans is 339. Um, I would expect these to sell a lot closer to the uh, the sort of 330 mark. Le Mans is actually just right here, and you can see on the listing it gives you some clues. So it's on this side, and they're actually building live work townhomes in this area here. You'll get the construction, the noise, all that stuff. So where you see that is it says fronting on the south side right here. It it gives us clues as to where it is on the street. Um, along with things like Google Maps and Street View and things like that. Three bedroom, three washroom, possession date June 28th. Whenever you see that, you know it's an important day. Finished walkout basement. It does have nice pictures. Um, very well taken too. I like the uh, the photographer here. There's the kitchen. So a good layout. Walkout basement. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just not a big fan of these for some reason. I think it's just the stairs coming up. It's you already climb a flight of stairs. You know, just to bring your groceries and things like that in. Just not a big fan. So 1026 fourth line 359.9. This is a Hayden model, and I think it's at like 1400 square feet. It's a little detached home. So your choice really is you you go for similar sized homes. You can either go for a townhome around this size. It'll cost you about 320, 325. You get to a a semi it's about 340 or you go to the detached around 350 360 so that uh you know it's kind of plain inside there's really not a lot there they've done some nice rounded arches the nine foot ceilings on this model will make a huge difference and there's some more photographs there the master is a good size there are two full bathrooms upstairs uh, this one's looking for May 3rd possession. We talked about that just a couple minutes ago. And a pretty decent sized property. It's a 36 by 80 foot lot, but because the home's smaller, uh, we have 17, 18, 1900 square foot homes on the same property. So when you reduce the size of the home, you actually get bigger lot. So unfinished basement, not too bad. It's kind of priced okay. You know, I'm not a big fan of fourth line. It's tough to sell stuff on fourth line, especially in that area. 965 Donnelly, 429.9. It's a four bedroom, three washroom. They're looking for September possession. So I see a lot of people in the market now that are really looking way far in the future. I think they're a little bit afraid of the effect of the HST. And I think they're also afraid of just the, the summer, July, August is typically not a real busy month in, in real estate. So they decided to try it out in the spring. Uh, full does not mean finished basement. We've talked about that many times before. When I look at the room sizes, it says 1850 as per the vendor. It's probably, I would guess, a Pottington or maybe a, um, you know, it could be a Lindsay model, something around that 1800 mark. It looks like there's no hardwood floors. There's gas fireplace. Um, they have done some under counter lights, things like that. Crown moldings. They've done a deck. So it looks okay. You know, to be honest, 429, they missed the mark on price. I think there's a lot better value out there. Uh, just based on what's on paper. We'll have to see the pictures. 1065 Holdsworth, 459. This compares pretty well to the one on Dixon we had yesterday. Uh, four bedroom, three washroom. And they're looking for the end of July possession. So double garage, 36 by 100 foot property. And I talk about this a lot too. The double garage is about 20 feet. You figure you got a couple feet on either side. So there's a, a pretty narrow hallway. You don't have a lot of functional space till you get in past the garage here. Okay, so this is what happens when it's all opened up. So you've got the family, dining, and you've got the kitchen there. 
Okay, there's the dining area. There's the kitchen in the back of the home. Uh, kind of a lofty style. It's really interesting here. Movable island. We've done a backsplash. Okay, good sized rooms upstairs. It really opens up on the second floor when you don't have the garage to build around. And nice piece of land. So four fifty nine, dollars not a bad price. You know, the, the actual size of the home is twenty two nineteen. dollars Pretty decent. It's not the steel of the century, but it's not bad. 617 Logren is five nineteen nine. It's four bedroom, three washroom, no finished basement. And it's a um it's a Huxley, which we also refer to as a Scotswood, 2437 square feet. When you look at what it has, hardwood floor on the main level, gas fireplace. Um, it's okay. You know, to really, I mean, at that price, when you look at how much they're asking, I would expect it to definitely be under the five mark, but we'd have to see it. Logren's not a bad street there, too. 1660 Dempsey. This is the biggest model Madame built in the older phase. It's called a Westmoreland. 3715 square feet. There's no finished basement. 689, seven, five bedroom, four washroom. And the pictures, decent hardwood floors. You know, okay kitchen, nothing blowing you away. Kind of light colors. I know the style now tends to be a little bit more dark hardwood, stainless steel appliances, those kind of things. That's the den on the main floor. And I find this model tends to be a little bit choppy. It doesn't have that real open feel that you find with a lot of other homes, which some people like, some people don't like. If you've got uh, older kids, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of privacy for everyone in the family. That is a shot of the upstairs. So it's okay, you know, I think this price seems high, you know, the highest, the record-breaking sale was $750 in Hawthorne Village. I had the record for a while at $740, and we're talking about a home that had a fully finished basement. It was bigger than this, uh, about 3,800 square feet, backed onto a forest, f just, you know, walkout basement. This one, for close to seven, I don't see the value personally. It's got, I think it's got to be lower. Um, and then, so you look here, there's another one on Rickson Way, 695. This is a 3,300 square foot home, so about 400 square feet smaller. They have done a partly finished area in the basement. Uh, I don't know if that's just the finished area. Sometimes the builder will finish the area at the bottom of the stairs in this one. Uh, I hope it's not that, because that's pretty misleading. Crown moldings, pot lights, hardwood floors, all that stuff. The kitchen, obviously, I, I think is more to someone's taste than the, uh, the the previous one. Tiles on diagonal, uh, nice looking family room. This is a good layout. To me, this is a better layout than the other one, even though the other one's bigger. I find this is much more functional. Nice en suite. There's the, the den upstairs, so there's a little area that's not a bedroom. Uh, it's a plus one. Nice backyard deck. Everything's done really well. Landscaping. Rickson's a great street. Um, I just don't think they're going to get the money for it. It's just a standard 56 by 80 foot lot. So that is our list for today. Um, what I'd encourage you to do is most of the weekends booked up. Uh, if you do want to come for a tour of homes, you can book something uh, during next week, or you can maybe even just come over and uh, hang out and grab a coffee with me at Starbucks. So have yourself a super weekend, and I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye.